We've been trying to get tickets for two years, and uh, my daughter finally got onto the lottery. Wow, two years to get tickets. Right now at five, people from all across the nation are flocking to our backyard for a night filled with wackiness. The world-famous baseball team, the Savannah Bananas, are back in Kannapolis tonight after a wildly successful performance last night. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy is live at Atrium Health Ballpark, the home of the Kannapolis Cannonballers. And Robin, tonight is another sellout crowd. Looks like it's already busy behind you. Yeah, Morgan and Alicia, and this crowd has not even, this game does not even start for two more hours, and this crowd has really picked up. And the Kannapolis Cannonballers tell me that last night's crowd will probably go down as the biggest crowd in stadium history since the ballpark opened two years ago. It's pretty hard to steal the show from the Savannah Bananas. Foul! Caught by a fan! And that's your ball game! But 15-year-old Kamani Faggart from Concord managed to save the best for last. I wasn't paying attention to that bat at the moment, and I heard the bat, I heard the ball hit off the bat, and I just looked and saw the ball coming our way, and I was like, watch out. Kamani snagged the foul ball in front of a huge crowd and all of his baseball teammates from Winkler Middle School, helping the Savannah Bananas get the final out to win the game. And the entire team going out there to swarm the fan. That is why you bring your club to a ball game. Game ended by the fans. The Bananas win it 5-1. Are you kidding me? Look at our hero tonight. It was fun because he, we all ran out there congratulating me, giving high fives, hugs, everything. The Savannah Bananas is selling out the Kannapolis Cannonballers Stadium two nights in a row. But the team has been more than just a hit on the field. It's probably at least double, if not triple, what we would typically see on a Tuesday evening. Cal Lingefeld, co-owner of Old Armor Beer Company, says the Bananas game Tuesday had the biggest impact on his business of any event at the ballpark since the stadium's opening two years ago. We were seeing people as far as, you know, South Charlotte and other, other parts of the state coming in that probably had no idea Kannapolis was even on the map. It's not the hometown team, but Kamani says they definitely made him feel like he's one of them. The whole team ran over to me, brought me down, and then we ran out to the uh, mound. It's just amazing. And the first time they played here, so that's, he's made a little history. That is such a story they have. And Kamani's mom says she really appreciates how the team, especially one of the players, has really embraced her son and supported him. They started following him on Instagram and they're texting with him. Just a really special moment for her son. I'm live in Kannapolis, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.